So we spoke about your inner voice um, and that was like a positive um, to come out of aging and, you know, getting a little bit older. You are still only for 37. What are the other things that you have found that have kind of developed as you've got older? I feel like I don't care as much about what other people think, for example. Yeah, that that's one definitely. And I definitely feel I have more wisdom as I get older. And then you do I think that comes through in the book as well. Massively. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Yeah, when you look back at people maybe in their their 20s, <laughs> there is a quote that says like the um youth is wasted on the young. So true. And it is so true. I'm like, oh my gosh, I would have done things <laughs> much differently. But youth is wasted on the young. Mm. You know, all the things that, that you think, oh, okay, they could be doing, but they just, instead they're, they're not and they're just doing whatever. I mean, that was me. And uh, yeah, I appreciate the wisdom. Uh, I appreciate not caring as much what others think. Yeah. The, the my people pleasing is is getting is getting better. <laughs> I suffer with that massively too. Always oh. thinking about what other people are going to think. Yeah, and and I'm like, I don't want to be one day on my deathbed and feel okay. I did everything for everybody else, and I never really lived for myself. Yeah. So I, I yeah. think that's where I am now, trying to live more for myself and uh, my own wants and needs in life, rather than accommodating everybody else's <laughs> and it goes back to trusting your instinct as well and going with your gut feeling because that doesn't always please everyone that's around you but as long yeah. as it pleases you then that's fine you also yeah. speak in the book um that you i thought this is you know this is quite interesting you aspired to be like pam pamela anderson when you were younger and it's really interesting when I read that because I thought that is someone who was in that mold, in that kind of, you know, um, American girl next door, gorgeous, beautiful. And now as she's gotten older, she is completely embracing aging. She is, you know, she's going out with like no makeup on to all these big fashion week parties, etc. What do you think of her now? Is she someone that you still aspire to, to be like? I love that she's going out and not wearing makeup. It's 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 amazing, and you know whatever switch in her like the, <laughs> decided that I'm like I want that I want that too. Um, it's interesting. I I'm, sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say I watched her documentary. And it, it's, it was, it was fascinating for sure. Yeah. She's so, she's an, she's like you very warm and very genuine and she just seems very comfortable in her own skin. Doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. One thing, one thing about her though, I just thought because she had taken her implants out, the breast implants and now she's put them back in. <laughs> I was like, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's, you know, she's beautiful. She doesn't, she doesn't, but what, you know, if that makes her feel beautiful, then that, then. Exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> what, um, what advice do you think you would give your younger self about aging and getting older? You know, when you, you were putting so much value and that all the people around you were putting value on what you look like, yeah. um, what kind of advice would you give to someone in that situation or, you know, on reflection to yourself about getting older? Gosh, I think it's really important to know yourself. Um, and I think that does come with age, but I think that could be developed a little bit younger as well. My problem with going into the mansion was I didn't really have a very good sense of self. So if you don't really know who you are, it can be dictated to you by other people. And in my case, it was by half and Playboy and some something that's given to you can also be taken away. So I do, I do think having a good sense of self really helps you, especially being younger and then going into 
being older and aging, um, having a strong sense of self, what you love and what you want, I think is, is very important.